Starting with the WLWT radar and the rain moving out. We had some heavy rain at times earlier this morning, a little bit intense with a lot of lightning in our northern counties. Also widespread in our southern counties. The in-between for the 275 loop, Hamilton County, it's been a little bit limited, but all of it now sliding through our eastern counties and coming to an end here for our Friday. Some light showers in Mason County expected to end pretty soon in Maysville and the eastern part of Mason County. The back edge of it for southern Highland County is moving out. We still have lightning detection turned on, but haven't seen any lightning now for the last hour or so. Satellite and radar showing the showers and storms moving out, but some of the clouds still lingering. Some midday uh, partly cloudy skies in place. We will give way to more sunshine through the afternoon and then especially by later on this evening. It's a little bit in the way of dim sunshine at this point on the city cam shot. So not too bright right now, but also it's not raining downtown. Dry conditions, the temperature at 77. That dew point is up in the muggy range at 65. So when you factor in a heat index just a little bit higher than the air temperature, it feels like 79 with a west wind at eight miles an hour. Temperatures varying just a little bit across northern Kentucky and Hamilton County, probably depending on the cloud cover and how much rain from earlier. But Lunkin on the slightly cooler side at 74. Contrast that to some of our uh, spots up around 80 degrees already for the midday. Here's our future cast with a front that came through this morning. Now behind it, some of those showers still moving out. The good part for the weekend forecast will be some high pressure. It's going to be short lived, but it'll help us out for tonight and for our Saturday forecast. Here it comes sliding down from the Midwest. As it arrives for the overnight tonight, skies will clear out through our evening hours, mostly clear tonight, and then a lot of sunshine to start off Saturday morning. So a pleasant start to the weekend early Saturday, maybe a few more high clouds as we head through the day. That high pressure is working east underneath the high pressure. The wind should be fairly light tomorrow. Temperatures in the 80s for Saturday. Heading into Sunday, we start to see a system taking shape out across the plain. So it's not going to have a big impact as we start Sunday, but as we head through the day on Sunday, we'll watch for rain to develop and slide into our direction and for the timing of it for our holiday weekend forecast it looks like from Sunday night into the 4th of July on Monday could be quite a soaker. Here's one of the models putting out the rain chances. We're starting at noon on Sunday. It's going to drag a line of rain right in from the west. Now it's not too broad of a line and there will be spots that will see more intense amounts. We'll watch for the lineup of where it sets up from probably a west to east fashion, but it does look likely that we have soaking rains for a good part of our day for Monday. So possibly two inches of rain or more that could cause a flood threat for Monday's forecast. It looks most intense at this point, at least the first half of the day, but still continues off and on the rest of the day. And for the fireworks in the evening, maybe not as much in the way of widespread heavy rain. It'd still be possible and we'll also have a very soggy evening after all that rain to start off the day. So if you have fireworks Saturday night, you're good to go. Fireworks Sunday night, we'll watch the radar for the timing when they arrive. Fireworks on Monday night, rain chances possible and very soggy after a very wet start to the day. 85 degrees for a high today. We have more afternoon sunshine expected. A pretty comfortable overnight dropping off to 59. And that's the best part of the weekend forecast is our Saturday right back at 85. For, for 82 on Saturday, 76 on Sunday. We have late day rain showers starting and then more likely rain on the 4th of July. Next week, a little bit unsettled. It will be hotter and more humid as temperatures climb.